What's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> uh, Barrett and I are here to make a video today, and it's going to be on the Glock 42 uh, pocket holster. So, what's our musical theme for today? Late Zeppelin? You tell me, Doug. <laughs> I love it, man. But what we are going to be doing, like I said, is making a pocket holster for my Glock 42. Now, these are empty. I have safety checked them, so I will try to keep them from muzzling Barrett. And I may get you, to, not right now, but I may get you to scoot around this way a little bit because I am gonna be pointing at that direction at some point. But anyway, these are magazines, so they're handy if we, happen to need them. <laughs> you never know when a Yeti's gonna come out of the forest, you know. Of course we don't shoot Yetis, do we? Anyway, I have really enjoyed the pocket holster for my Boberg XR9S, if you haven't seen it. There it is. It's funny because the Glock 42 is a little bit lighter than the uh, um, Boberg. I mean, there's probably more steel and the Boberg, and of course it's a nine millimeter, it holds seven shots, so everything about it is a little bit heavier. You can see, I think I've done this comparison before, but I think the Boberg is still, yeah, the Boberg is shorter. So it is more of a pocket pistol, but the weight of it, like in the summertime, wearing it with shorts or something in your pocket is a, a little difficult. So I'm hoping to get this down to a pocket pistol size holster that'll fit. This this one worked out really good. It's very lightweight. This leather, once it dries out, really not much weight to it at all. So anyway, enough said. What I gotta do first is square up my piece of leather. So I'm gonna take my little square, my favorite little framing square, and square this up. So I got my trusty leather working bag here. That's what I'm looking for. My exacto knife cutter. I will be using this cement. Thing you want to make sure you do when you cut leather is cut all the way through the first time because if you have to make two passes you get a rough edge on there it never lines up especially on the thicker leather okay so I'm gonna keep it pointed this way how about that see I need to actually turn it over too What part's hard? Part I just played. Life hard. Life is hard, man. Let's see. The down, 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 down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that cut for the most part all the way through. To the very end. Dang, did I cut it long enough? Right about there, 
I used to come down to here. They used to cover the cover the trigger guard, but it doesn't need to be in the way of grabbing the the thing. There we go. Now it's starting to look more like a holster in it, bed. Mm-hmm. That's the one that was up on. <laughs> Green Day. Green Day. That's hippie music, man. That's grunger music. <laughs> I remember the first time I told you something was grunger music, you got real mad. I think grunger music. When you were younger, when you were like 14 or something. Okay, now what we have to do, Barrett, is wet it with hot water so we can form it. Okay, Barrett, look, I got this part all wet with hot water, but I didn't get the part I'm going to glue wet. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Aren't I talented? Watch my muzzle, man. I'm really saying that to remind myself, not you. <sighs> so what I want to do is get this about where it is going to go, then take my tool and start tooling it to the. And I'll do. I'll do more of this later. I just want to kind of get it tight. Now, I really need to get this where y'all can see better, don't I? I'm just kind of pushing, taking the rounded part of this and pushing it down into the trigger guard. You want them to mold it right here where the slide chamber recess is around the barrel. Turn it over and do the same thing on this side. What that's going to help you do is get that molded without well, lay down when you glue this. I finally got the can of cement open. Contact cement is basically what it is. Maybe formulated for leather, I don't know, but it works well. Never to come apart, I promise you. <laughs> See, kind of eyeball that on this side. Now what you want to do is just take something to protect the leather 
and uh, put it on both sides. Start clamping it down, man. What I may do is slide a little glue in here on this part. I'm running out of clamps. Little ones anyway, I got some big ones. I resort to using a C-clamp. Is it dry yet? <laughs> oh. Okay, so it should be dry by now. Dry enough to do our thread work anyway. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, let me get this out. I'm not muzzling anybody. Like that. And then I'll just go around the edges. Okay, let's see if I can do this and remember how to do it without getting it on the wrong side of the thing. That's right. Okay, let's try to singe this knot where it won't come undone. There we go. Well, there you go. I'm excited. She's ready to go. And eventually it'll take on more of a hue, like my Boberg. Let's say I took my Boberg inside, but um, it'll take on more of a hue, this color. 
this uh, lighter colored leather will wear and it'll after you've handled it and stuck it in your pocket and worked with it a while it'll basically change and that's why I don't like putting a finish on it I like for it to age naturally so well there you go make you a pocket holster and have some fun Nice.